We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for Tomorrow. To all the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for returns for the smash that like button. Tell me you watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So BBIG, Vinco Ventures Inc. pushed up higher today, right? After kind of bottoming here, we need to see if this is the actual bottom or if it's not real strength, right? And if it is real strength, what to look for moving forward. So when we see this going on here, this was not the only stock pushing higher, right? There was a lot of stocks today flying higher. Some were going down, but others were slightly recovering, but they're not reaching back to the all-time highs or even slightly back to their prices from yesterday's open. Like BBIG is still below yesterday's open, but the S&P 500 index and the SPY they were going up as well. And our spy bot this morning sent out a notification of a bull indicator. Within just minutes, these call options turned out to go up three to four X. And you could see it here on the chart as well as it pulls up. And that bull indicator popped up, slight pullback, and things took off. Now, this is a new release that we have now within the Discord that sends notifications directly to all of us within the community to navigate with clarity with 42 Vision and also with some type of edge right over the markets to maximize on opportunities within the overall market and what's going on with individual stocks and how they're affected by this spy bot or how this spy bot could create an opportunity and you can now gain access to it as well. Now, BBIG had a nice bounce off those lows. We're gonna talk about everything that I see moving forward and what 42 Vision is showing and the bull and bear indicators, but before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunities I mentioned this morning. They definitely cannot go overlooked because one of them turned out to be beyond expectations and phenomenal for the day. Something that doesn't happen every day, but when these opportunities arise, we maximize on them. But we try to go ahead and get on early on these and you can become part of that as well. Check out the link down below to the Discord. We look forward to having you join us and we're going to jump into everything here with BBIG. So the home runs of the day were spectacular and beyond expectations and every single stock turned out to be a home run that I mentioned today. If you want to get on early with us every single morning, we strive for opportunities like these. Check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So these are the three stocks I mentioned this morning and IMPP and INDO turned out to be 20% plus home runs, but the home run of the day that was spectacular and beyond expectations, way beyond we could have ever imagined in a single day was KSCP. And this stock soared for a 400% plus highest point here in the aftermarket hours. Now, I mentioned it in the pre-market at around $6 and some change after pulling downwards, consolidated and started to pick up momentum slowly into the sevens, got that bull indicator and full strength for 100% plus consolidation, bear indicator, slightly pulled back to the tens and took off with another bull indicator and strength from the moment we mentioned it to the highest point of possibility of 400% plus guys. If you guys want to gain on early with us, every single morning we strive for opportunities like these, whether the market is going up or going down, check out the link down below in the description to the discord. We look forward to having you join us and let's jump into these charts. So BBIG Vinco Ventures Inc. has been in a rough patch for the last two days, right? We've talked about why would they go ahead and release the cryptide information and those documents on the date when the Federal Reserve had to talk the next day and then on the date after that when all the fear started to kick in. I really do not understand it. I did not see a real reason behind it. A lot of people have commented down below their thoughts, but I didn't think it was a strong move and there we have it it hurt momentum i stated it looked like it could hurt momentum especially if it didn't hold itself up above 360 and you know what's interesting it created a rejection at 360 right and we've rejected since we went all the way down to extreme weakness and yesterday i stated that we're at a point where it could try to reverse well it certainly did but the reversal did not start here at 280s it started way down here at the 260s, bounced back up to $3 and came back down. So when these reversals happen, I've stated it before, it tends to move. Some are stronger than others. Some are weaker than others, anywhere from 10 to 
creating trading opportunities, right? That is something that I have stated based off 42 vision. When we're at the area with white with red borders, we eventually are going to reverse. And when it does, it's going to create an opportunity of a quick 10 to 20%. And other times it could create a 40 to 50% type of move. Now, let me go ahead and pull up ultimate 42 vision. This is something you can gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators to receive the clarity you deserve to maximize on opportunities, no matter what direction stocks are going within the volatility of the markets, guys. So check it out and the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators. So when we look at this, we have seen that clean bull indicator since way down here on January 10th from 223 all the way to the peak here of about 580 until the next bear indicator popped up. We rejected $6 and I stated all the way up to the top that $6 was important. And as we've gone down, that is still an important resistance level for this to squeeze even further. There's a lot of shorts putting pressure above that level and on the way down as well. Okay. Super important to realize that that $6 is where a lot of people will get trapped. And every short below that level will be forced to eventually have to cover. Super important to pay attention to this and be aware of it. Now, we are under a bull indicator now on the 30 minute. So it finally goes ahead and cancels out this bear indicator. That's what I was looking for. But we need to remember that this bull indicator popped up way lower than where we anticipated. I talked about it at $3.280. We really wanted that. Now, the good thing is we're back above 282 okay that was a resistance and support that we were watching this turned into a resistance when we broke through it and it was a support on our way down towards it now we're in that area we need to stay above it and we got to get back up here to these levels of 316 320 that's the area we need to see this breakthrough now today's high was three dollars okay that's going to be key but most importantly 320 needs to be broken through to then get towards the highs up here of 375 and like i've stated in previous videos we want to see this break towards four dollars and then we can start talking about other resistance levels now the lowest point of the day was 264 okay now could we call this a double bottom eh, kind of close to it some may want to call it that but it needed to get closer to the 250s or 260 and the lowest point down here was 254 255 give or take if we touch that or break through that, there could be some further weakness on BBIG. But if we stay above it, even though it's not a double bottom, we need to see how much strength this picks up. It could be considered kind of that double bottom floor where it goes ahead, comes down, comes back up, comes down and bounces off of that. But how much strength is it going to get from here, right? That's what I'm looking for. This bull indicator is not that strong based off of what I'm seeing, but the last time a bull indicator popped up, it wasn't that strong either. And we went from the 290s and 280s all the way up towards 376, right? So still something to watch, still some type of strength here. But we need to break through these resistance levels, as I stated earlier in the video, and get towards 3, 320, and then up towards $4, right? 375, and then $4. Now, this article came out, and it's a whole entire article talking about you know, BBIG and so forth. And it says at the end, you know, what does this mean for BBIG, the whole entire spinoff with Cryptide. And they're basically stating that there's no doubt that the spinoff has potential to stand on its own rapidly expanding space. So why equip with it, right? So it's a speculative growth play that should be an investor's watch list. Okay. That's what they state here, the writer of this article. Now, they go ahead and state that if Cryptide finally does spin off into a publicly traded company, it could finally help Vinco, which is BBIG, Vinco Ventures, Inc., achieve sustainable growth. So this is more than just a squeeze play and also Cryptide hype play because that's what a lot of people are calling it. It's still speculative, but there could be even more growth in the long run. Now, I don't see that just yet. I think this is a little bit overly bullish, but it is a possibility that this Cryptide spinoff is going to add more value to BBIG more than just waiting for it to happen. See this possibly squeeze again, and that's it. 
that's the end of the story for BBIG. I don't think so. I think there's going to be momentum, right, as things play out, if things do play out in the squeezes as well. In the process, it may come back down and lose some momentum, but long term, when it does come back to reality, there could be an even bigger opportunity if Cryptide does add value to BBIG, as this article stated. So this is way more than just a few months from now opportunity. This could be a long-term opportunity as well, based off the speculation of the possible growth Cryptide is going to add to BBIG and save it from depth. Because basically, the whole entire transaction, right, when you read through this, is all about the 42 million Cryptide update, right? And when you see this right here, and they talk about this, it's the company released a statement announcing that it had entered into a definitive agreement for a DEP common equity raise of $42 million, okay? Super important to realize that DEP in the same sentence with equity is not always a beautiful picture, but it's a speculative picture. There's a lot of DEP going on around this, but this could possibly add value to the company. The DEP is hurting the company today, but if it can actually turn into profits and grow, it could benefit the company in the long run. So this is interesting stuff. These are the key levels I'm watching going into tomorrow. I'm going to be watching this bull and bear indicator. And then also 30 minute already canceled out that bear indicator. But the four hour needs to come with more strength. Okay. We need to see if it can come around, start curling, go from red with green borders to dark green and continue and get that bull indicator like it did here. I'm not stating it's going to go from the twos to six again or that it can't break through six. I'm just stating that I'm going to be watching for those key momentum levels on 42 vision, that 30 minute hold strong, four hour to continue moving with it and actually get a bull indicator this time because the last time we got momentum, yeah, it was a decent move of almost 50% plus, but there was no bull indicator and this is how we got this rejection. So that's what I'm gonna be watching for here and a lot of people are gonna be calling this probably a double bottom and if the strength does come and there is a bull indicator and things continue upwards, then possibly that could be that double bottom effect. Even though it did not reach those lows of the 250s, it bounced back even stronger from the 260s. And we have to see if it can get past 375 and $4, guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.